Hello my friends, Clara Parks from The Wool Channel. Welcome back to another wool short. Today we're going to talk about the connection between wool and the quality of the air that you breathe. And if you think there's no connection, think again my friends. Thanks to modern inventions like double glazed windows and insulation and heating and cooling, I can basically pad around the house perfectly comfortable summer or winter, even if it's 12 degrees outside or 120 degrees outside. An unintended consequence of getting so good at insulating our homes has been a reduction in airflow, which can lead to reduced quality of air. In particular, we're talking about volatile organic compounds. So here's the thing. If you are sealed up in your house, you're also sealed up with all of your worldly possessions and everything that went into the building and maintaining of your worldly possessions. So we're talking things like plywood, particle board, adhesives, upholstery, flooring, carpets, paints, varnishes, caulks, sealants, air fresheners, pesticides, cleaning products, even leather goods, paper, and pharmaceuticals all have been known to emit volatile organic compounds, in particular toxic volatile organic compounds, and in particular I am talking about formaldehyde, a known human carcinogen, not something you want to be locked up with. Of course, you could buy an air purification system, which costs money to buy and to run. But wouldn't it be cool if something that is already in your home, something that you brought in for beauty or for comfort, could also have the capacity to work silently 24 hours a day and could purify the air in your home? Guess what? That is where wool enters the equation. So here's the thing about wool. Wool is a protein fiber. It is made up of about 95% keratin. Keratin is made up of a whole bunch of amino acids, but there are several of them in particular that absolutely have a thing for formaldehyde. When they see it, they rush to it. They wrap their arms around it. They pull it close. And in so doing, they absorb and neutralize the formaldehyde. They also have the capacity to do this with sulfur dioxide, which is another thing you don't want to be breathing, and that's the result of combustion. So what is happening here? Several studies have been done about this, but two in particular had some very compelling numbers. Basically, in one case, they filled two separate containers with a huge amount of formaldehyde, 300 parts per million. They put a wool pile carpet in one chamber and a nylon pile carpet in the other chamber. After four hours, the chamber with the wool carpet had zero formaldehyde in it. The chamber with the nylon carpet in it had 100 parts per million formaldehyde. So a lot of the formaldehyde had actually settled on the carpet in a process called physisorption, like physical absorption, you could think. In another study, they wanted to see how quickly it happened with smaller amounts of formaldehyde. So they pumped the chambers with five parts per million formaldehyde and put the wool pile carpet in one nylon pile carpet in the other. After 30 minutes, the wool had removed the formaldehyde from the air. The nylon pile carpet, it took it a full hour to get it down to 2.5 parts per million to reduce it by half. So what's going on here? Although in the wool and nylon chambers, you have some degree of physisorption happening, with the wool, you have another process and that's called chemisorption. And that's the process of the formaldehyde being absorbed and chemically bound to the wool. That chemical bond is permanent and stable, by which I mean that you could heat up both carpets. And in the case of the nylon, it's going to re-release some of that formaldehyde back into the air. But with the wool, because of this chemical bond, you could heat the carpet, you could ask the wool nicely, you could send it a formal request, could you please release these the OCs back into the air? And it would not. And what this means is that your wool carpet or your wool curtains or your wool pillows or wool blanket at night can be doing double time purifying your air of toxins. Investing in wool can also be an investment in self-care. Wool can not only keep you warm and safe and comfortable, but it can help keep the air you breathe clean and safe. So there you have it. This has been another Wool Short for the Wool Channel. I'm Clara Parks. Thank you for watching.